Support for the Nature Museum is provided by Rose Pest Solutions, protecting homes, businesses, health, and the environment since 1860. Hi everyone, and welcome back to Curious by Nature. My name is Erin, and today our good friend, artist Katherine Lampert, is back with another special winter craft. Let's see what she's got for us today. My name is Katherine Lampert, and I'm so excited to be outside today to do a fun winter art project using the snow-covered ground as our canvas. So this project is so simple, you really can do it using materials that you can find around your home. Um, the first thing that you're going to need is a piece of paper, and I'm going to use a large sheet of drawing paper, but you can really use copy paper or a smaller sheet of drawing paper. I'm going to use some food coloring. You could also use children's liquid washable watercolors if you're concerned about staining those little mittens and jackets. You're also going to need some spray bottles. And lastly, you're just going to need a pair of scissors. You can buy a stencil if you want to, but I like to make my own. So I'm going to make a snowflake stencil. And the first thing I'm going to do is fold my paper in half. This is just like that project that it seems like almost everybody did at some point in kindergarten where you're gonna make a paper snowflake. You don't have to make a snowflake stencil, you can make a stencil of anything that you want. But I thought it was appropriate for the weather. So basically what I've done is folded this up and made a pie shape and I'm just going to cut a lot of shapes um, out of it in order to make my design. So now that I finished cutting out my stencil, I'm gonna open it up. And it's so fun to see your design. It's always a surprise. Once you have your stencil, next we're going to fill our spray bottles with our color. So I filled my spray bottle up about a quarter of the way. You don't need a lot. And I'm gonna put a few drops of food coloring in each one. So with these spray bot bottles that are used for household cleaning, I definitely recommend putting it on the mist setting for this project. Now I'm gonna take my stencil and my spray bottles filled with color and go find a snowy patch of ground to stencil onto. I'm gonna open up my stencil and find a nice clean blanket of snow to lay it on top of. The nice thing about using paper instead of stencil paper is that when it gets wet, it's really gonna lay nice and flat. I'm gonna take my spray bottle and make sure it's on that mist setting. You can use more than one color on it if you want to. Now I'm gonna lift my stencil up off the ground. I think it would be so much fun for inspiration to look at photos of snowflakes close up before you start this project to get ideas for your design. They're so beautiful. Each one is unique. They look like little crystals or gems. This is the sort of activity where you can just keep making different kinds of stencils. It doesn't have to be snowflakes. Maybe you want to try writing your name with lettering or anything you can really imagine. It's so much fun to stencil into the snow. That's our show for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. And a special thanks to Catherine for showing us these amazing snow crafts. Catherine's artwork is linked below and be sure to send a picture online of what you came up with. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like below and don't forget to subscribe so you never miss an episode. Thanks again for joining us today and we'll see you back here next time on Curious by Nature.